Towards the end of the video course, we went to film the green turtles and search for a dugong. The first turtle appeared within a few minutes of us leaving the shore. And as usual, it totally ignored us and concentrated fully on eating. Any time spent with a turtle is time well spent, but we were hoping to find the elusive dugong before the end of our dive. And there it was, right in the middle of a small self-inflicted sandstorm. A dugong feeding contently on the sparse seagrass. With the sun getting lower on the horizon, the light backscatter from the stirred up sand was making water visibility very poor. But when you have a dugong in front of you, it really doesn't matter. The temptation to rush in and get some shots is not a good one. We took a moment or two to let the dugong know we were there and get used to us. To let it know we meant no harm. Then we simply let it come to us. Previously, dugongs in this area have been harassed continuously by divers and snorkelers, giving them no time to feed properly. Being an air-breathing mammal, the dugong needs to surface regularly for breath about every six minutes. But often, the sheer pressure from snorkelers chasing it drive it back to the seabed in panic. This can be day in and day out, and of course in the end, the pressure takes its toll, and the animal has to move away to look for quieter feeding grounds. Then, surprise surprise, we all say, oh, the dugong has gone. Being a marine herbivorous mammal, dugongs are more closely related to elephants than to marine mammals such as whales and dolphins. They can live up to 70 years, but most die much younger, often due to predation, starvation and human intervention, and are in serious decline due to habitat loss. But for now, we are simply thrilled to be with a strange yet charismatic animal.